Welcome to Session Self Tutorials. Hello, fellow therapists. I'm Ian, a practicing psychotherapist, and I use Session Self each day in my own private practice. In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at notes, diagnosis, and treatment plans. The three are integrated in Sessions Health, and so I'm going to walk you through each one and how the integration works. I'm also going to show you how to customize your own note template so that you can have it do what you want it to do. So I'm on the client details screen and you can see this diagnosis and treatment tab. Currently there's not a diagnosis set for this client and there's no treatment plan. Rather than setting it directly here, a more natural workflow might be after the first session, you start writing your clinical note for a client. And that's this note here. We can see underneath incomplete sessions and notes. There's a list of notes that this would have been the first session that they had. And we're going to pretend that we're just entering our clinical note after our first session with them. So we're going to click this. And so from here, what we can see, what we can do is the diagnosis is at the top of the clinical note. It hasn't been assigned. We can click edit. There's a type ahead here. So as you start typing the description for a diagnosis, it's going to match what we have in place. We're using ICD-10 diagnosis and descriptions. So if you start typing We'll see that list is going to shrink until it matches the current pattern. So we're going to select this. And even though we're not using DSM descriptions, we're only using ICD-10 descriptions, you can override the description and, and have it say whatever you want it to say. So for certain diagnoses, we know there's not necessarily the best language for those, so you can change that and use whatever language you want. The code is going to be this, the same, though, because for insurance reasons, we want to make sure that the F code is what you're intending it to be. Let's say you also just want to add your own diagnosis that isn't in the ICD-10 categories. You can just type other. And you can then just put in whatever you want. So now we can save this. You could also put um, rollouts here, for example. So if you wanted to put you know, rollout borderline personality disorder. So now we've saved that on our clinical note. We can see it's showing up now. We can add a mental status exam. Clicking the three dot menu, you can start by just putting all with the normal limits because typically that's a good place to start. And then you can X out anything that, okay, their affect was not within normal limits. Here's some options. We can click that. Um, same here. We can add our own. So if we just start typing and press comma, it's going to add our own options to this list. Currently, those aren't persisted. If you add custom ones, you will have to add those again later on. The default drop downs are um, the only thing that's, that's going to appear from note to note. Risk assessment is also present. And now we can see here's our main note section. We can select from our note templates that are available to us. I'm going to show you how to customize your own template to match kind of what I have set up here. This is an example where some people like to just put a, a high level overview of client information at the top of a note. And then since you can load from the previous note, 
that can persist from session to session. You can just click this and whatever you've entered is going to show up. And so you can modify this as time goes on. Same with time in and time out. That's a customization that I've added to this note template. If you want the specific times to show up rather than just what was scheduled, you can just add these to your note template. And then that way you can type in whatever was the precise time in and time out so that if you are um, sending your notes to an, an insurer, they can see exactly this information. And then you just fill in the rest of your note. And then as you can see here, because there's no treatment plan, it is integrated with the note, but since we haven't set one up yet, it's prompting us to set up a treatment plan. So we can just click this link right here and start setting up the treatment plan. And we can just start typing presenting problems. Um, actually, that's probably a better behavioral definition. So I'm going to put it here. I'm going to put intense anxiety, treatment frequency two times weekly. Now we have our goals and objectives part of the wizard, and we can just we can add as many of these as we want. Each goal can have any number of objectives. Our first goal reduce anxiety, add objective, leave home at least once per week, interventions, exposure, verification of values. These are, again, some defaults that we have that you can just kind of click through these or add your own. And now we've got a goal and objective. Again, you can add as many of these as you want, but we're gonna click save. And after saving it, it, it's still not active. It's still in a draft form until you explicitly activate it. This is just showing us what this looks like. If you want to keep editing it, you can just click the three dot menu, click edit, and it's gonna take you back in to the wizard but we, we want to activate it. So we want this to be the treatment plan that's active. So we're going to activate it. We sign it, timestamp. Now it's active. If we look at draft, we don't have any drafts because we just activated it. But if we wanted to update the treatment plan, we can do that. We could add another um, presenting problem, for example, maybe the next session we learned something else about the client. We could say, you know, um, excessive video game use. So we want to make sure that we have something for that. So we're going to make another goal, reduce video game use at objective. Maybe it's um, replace with valued. Activity and intervention for the clarification of values would be a good one. Now we're going to click save. And so now we're going to activate this one. So now that we've activated a new one, since we did have a previously active treatment plan, if we click past, you'll see the first treatment plan that we made is, is showing up on this past tab. So there's going to be a running tally of all of your treatment plans. If you want to share the treatment plan or set a reminder, you can set up a reminder. Hey, remind me in six months, we're going to review the treatment plan. You can click share. This is going to share the treatment plan with the client through the client portal. If you want, this is completely optional. You don't have to do it. So now when we go back to the note, you notice our note was auto saved. All of the things that we added were automatically saved. 
But now when we come down to the treatment plan, you can see all of our objectives are integrated with the note. And so we can comment on how we worked on those objectives in the session. These one improved, one um, was not addressed. And we can comment with any additional details that we would have put in here. We can also, again, drop down. We can just click. We can also type in our own if we wish. Any medications we can put here. Um, type that in. And process notes. Now, process notes are not going to appear on the clinical note if you download it as a PDF. So it's only going to show up within the web interface. But one thing to keep in mind, depending upon what state you're in, laws specifically say that process notes can't be excluded from the clinical record if clients ask for a copy of their notes. And so legally, you still may be obligated to provide your clients with a copy of process notes if they would ask for their client record. Those just do not appear on the clinical PDF when you download it. So just something to keep in mind if you are using process notes, just be aware of what your laws are in your state or country. Now the notes finished, we can sign and complete it. And it's going to prompt us. We have more notes to do if we want to. We're going to X out right now. If you want to see the PDF, you can click download and it's going to generate a PDF in another tab and you can download that note if you need to. If you click view in calendar, it's just going to take you to the calendar for that session. So now that we've gone through those three notes, diagnosis, and treatment plan, we want to look at how can I customize my note template. For example, we can see here's the note that we created. On the summary tab, it's just a stream of activity. If you click details, it's going to show you some details for the note. This is just what's available in the actual note section. It's not going to show you the mental status exam or the treatment plan part. If you want to see all of that, you got to go to the full screen view and you do that just by clicking on this date here. And now you're seeing the note in the full screen mode where you can see all of the information. So let's look at how do I customize my note template to add this additional information. The default DAP note just has the DAP fields, but these have been added. We're just going to go to Forms and Documents, scroll down to Notes, and you can see here's a DAP note where these have been added. Let's say that we don't use DAP, we use SOAP. So same sort of thing. Now we're in the form builder view. There is a custom forms tutorial that gets into this more, but all you have to do is go to your forms and documents, click on the note template that you want to change or add your own. You can add a brand new one from scratch and just do add new element. And for this one, we could just do a date field and we could call this, um, Actually, for this, let's just do a standard text input, and we're going to call this time in. Enter when the session began. Required so that we have to fill it out on each note. Multi-line is not required for this one because it's not a chunk of text. We're just going to click Save. We can drag and drop this to the top. Same thing, we'll just do another one. Time out. Enter time. The session ended. Also, going to make it required. Save. 
this is automatically saved. So now if I go back to another note that needs done for, for anyone, really, it doesn't matter, but we're going to go to the same client. And now if we click soap note, you're going to see the, um, I didn't change the order, but you get the point that our customization that we made to that note is now part of the note template when we go to do a note the next time. So this concludes the tutorial on notes, diagnosis, and treatment plans. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out at support at sessionself.com.